Hey guys, Corey with Palmetto Battery Pros. Today we are going to be installing an aftermarket hybrid battery re uh, rebuild kit into this Generation 3 Toyota Prius battery. This is an old failing battery. Modules are failing. Corrosion on the bus bars and hardware. So we're gonna go ahead and take this battery apart and we're gonna be putting brand new modules in and I'll show you what goes with the, re with the, uh, with the kits. Uh, you have new bus bars, new hardware. You have your temperature sensor clips, extra covers, thermal sleeves for the battery rack and a brand new voltage acquisition wiring harness. And then of course your brand new nickel metal hydride cylindrical modules. We're gonna be taking all this and rebuilding this battery and we're going to turn it into a brand new battery first thing you're going to want to do is remove this mounting bracket once you pull the battery out of the car this mounting bracket is attached to the battery there are some 10 millimeter bolts along the bottom you'll remove those and then there's one on the top and this bracket will remove Next, go ahead and remove the eight millimeter nuts that attach the wiring harness and bus bars. Do that on both sides. And also remove the eight millimeter anchor bolts that attach the battery modules to the battery. and remove the voltage acquisition wiring harness and you can go ahead and discard this because the kit comes with a brand new uh, wiring harness. Go ahead and spin your battery around and remove the hardware and mounting bolts from the other side. Go ahead and remove your, your vent tubes from the modules, I've already done that. And go ahead and remove the temperature sensors from the modules, just little clips. Remove all these and retain. You will be reusing this wiring harness. All right, last thing, we need to remove the 10 millimeter bolts that hold the module packs down to the, the battery. There's one there, should be one on the corners. Okay, there are three 10 millimeter mounting uh, bolts and nuts that hold the fan in place. I've already gone ahead and removed those, but uh, remove all three and the bottom and now we're gonna go ahead and clean this fan out using my Phillips head I went ahead and removed the three screws that hold the fan together I removed the top plate of the fan or the top cover uh, you can see this fan is really dirty we're gonna go ahead and get this thing cleaned out uh, quick tip if you're using any type of cleaner uh, hold it down while you're spraying that cleaner in there to remove that debris uh, that way the cleaner doesn't go into the actual fan and we want it to drip out the bottom. Before we clean the shell out, we're gonna go ahead and remove the voltage acquisition wiring harness, the old one. We're gonna remove it and discard. We're also going to be checking the ECU for any corrosion or arcing in the, uh, in the pins here. So, I'll show you how to do that right now. Go ahead and remove your negative pole from the wiring harness. Let's 
set it off to the side. You will be reusing it. This is the, the harness that we will be removing. It runs on the bottom and it connects to the ECU here. All right, go ahead and discard your old voltage acquisition wiring harness and also check your ECU pins back here check them for any type of sign of corrosion or arcing and this ECU is good so we're gonna be able to reuse it all right last thing we need to do before we start installing the new batteries is to go ahead and remove any dirt hair dust corrosion out of the battery shell we want this thing spotless when we put the new modules in Go ahead and wire brush any rust or corrosion you may find in the pack. Once your pack looks like this, you are ready to rebuild it. All right, we have our old modules and we're gonna go ahead and remove these out of the frame, discard them. And uh, first thing, go ahead and remove this air deflector on the bottom and clean it uh, and replace it. And when we go to take our module frame apart, you'll see you have uh, on one side, you have this kind of uh, kind of mounting bracket. And on this side, it's a little bit different. This is the side that you want to remove. Uh, it's a lot easier when you go to put it back together, lining up those plastic, um, you know, little pins in the, uh, that poke through the mounting bracket. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and remove the modules and discard them. And we will be removing the four 12 millimeter bolts. Remove and retain. Now that your module rack is clean, go ahead and install your thermal sleeves. Just slide them right down over. Once you have your thermal sleeves on, you can go ahead and start installing the modules. And I'll show you how to do that now. The side with the air deflector is the side that's farthest away from the ECU. So this side is actually going to get module number 14. So we're gonna start with 14 instead of one. And if you look, all the modules are numbered. 01, 02, 03, all the way down to module 14. There are, uh, these are not uh, 28 modules, there are 14 modules. Uh, essentially, you're going to think of each module as a block. So we're going to start with number 14 and work our way back up to module number one, which will be on the other end. And that side will be closest to the ECU. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and set our first module, number 14. It's going to be positive. And it's easier to go ahead and stand this up on the end, and then go ahead and stack the rest of your modules, 14, 13, all the way to number one. Now that you have all your modules stacked, go ahead and double check that you're positive and negative and your numbers are correct all the way down. Next, go ahead and put the end cap back on and secure it with the 12 millimeter screws. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and run our voltage acquisition wiring harness to our ECU. Just go ahead and Push the wiring harness through, push it in until it clicks. And that's ready. And now we are ready to go ahead and set our modules into our battery tray. 
Number one is closest to the ECU, and your negative is going to be in your upper left. Place the 10 millimeter nuts on your two corners and secure them down to the battery tray. Using the provided hardware, we're going to go ahead and run our anchor bolts and secure all the modules down to the battery. Go ahead and repeat on the other side with the anchor bolt. Go ahead and remove all the covers, all the module covers, and retain. And we're gonna go ahead and hook these up together. And do that on both sides. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and start putting our modules together, our bus bars and hardware, hooking everything up. Uh, it's easier to go ahead and do it by hand at first to get them started. And uh, it's gonna be hard to follow along, so I'm gonna give you a good wide angle shot as I finish. And that way you can see which voltage sensors go to which module and how the uh, bus bars attach. Attach your negative pole and your last temperature sensor to module number 14. And for reference, here's a wide angle shot of how your voltage acquisition wiring harness should look once it's complete on this side. We're gonna go ahead and put the covers on and install the other side. All right, sometimes you have to get a little creative with the end covers. Um, I sometimes will cut them in half to cover up the, the terminal end here, um, keep it nice and secure from arcing, uh, but still allowing space for my wiring harnesses. Um, now we're ready to go ahead and spin this battery around and hook up the, the last side. All right, first thing you're gonna wanna do is remove this plastic clip kind of case here and remove any corrosion or buildup All right, I'm gonna run through this real quick, but at the end I'll give you a nice wide angle reference shot so you can make sure you get this hooked up properly. All right, go ahead and skip with your bus bar the second set of modules. Run your voltage acquisition wiring harness around the side and go ahead and start installing those to the bus bars and modules. All right, I like to go ahead and add some electrical tape to my uh, poles here that go to the service plug. And I, I usually just add it on the longer one, just for some extra arcing protection. And now that we have it taped up, we're gonna go ahead and finish installing this wiring harness, and we'll be good to go.
Okay, all of our covers are on, and now we are ready to install our temperature sensors. And we're going to install them on module 14, module 7, and module 1. They should fit in there like this. And then secure it to the module with the clamp provided. And your temperature sensor should look like that. Go ahead and secure temperature sensor wiring harness as you go. Install to number seven. And last, install your temperature sensor on module number one. And this battery is ready to be installed back into the vehicle. Go ahead and put the cover on, seal it up, and uh, be ready to place back in the vehicle. We give a 100,000 mile warranty for four years on this battery pack. This customer is saving about $1,600 from the dealership. And he's gonna be very happy. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments. I will answer them as soon as I possibly can. And uh, feel free to reach out to us if there's any videos you want us to do. I will be doing a installation and a replacement video for this year make a model vehicle. Uh, so you can see that uh, soon in the, uh, in the additional videos below. So thank you again. Please subscribe, like our channel. We're going to be doing more battery installation videos. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.